Today we're reading Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood by Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Here we go. In the heart of a great city, there lived the girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Myra gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the street. On her way home, Myra taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see, Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then just like that, he dipped the brush in the paint. Bam, pow. The shadows scurried away, sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow, spreading across the sky. Who are you, Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush, then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowee, the wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon Mr. Sachs joined in, then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm, salsa, merengue, and bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Maestros y papás brincaron, bebés también. Mira el hombre pasó brocha por brocha, y color se regó por las calles, y también alegría. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like a string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches, they decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Myra added, one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. I hope you enjoyed our video for Read Across America. 
I'd like to take this time to thank all of our community members who helped make this video story time a success.